Hey, it's the home medic and your family is not as safe as you might think. I'm doing an inspection today. Just ran across this window well. There's a couple of things that uh, that I'd really like you to see because this is a problem that happens everywhere. Take a look. First thing I want you to notice is this creosote log and it's actually acting as a dam. Uh, and that, the reason that's important is you've got this sprinkler head right there next to the window and uh, if you have any leak or whatever um, that creosote log is actually higher than the window elevation and it's going to force water back into the window. You can see as you look at this window well that that's the top and um, it's right there at the edge of the soil line which is lower than that root height there. So any water in the area i.e. coming from there is going to go into the window well and you know where it goes next. Another thing I want to show you is all this goo, uh, the leafy debris, and that is perfect for termites. And this area in particular used to be an orchard, so it has a lot more termites than it should have. We really don't want to have water that close to the window well, and we really don't want to have um, window wells that look like that. Unless, of course, you want uh, termites and mold and basement flooding and all those things that... Uh, at least most of us don't want. There's a couple of morals to this story. One is have a positive drainage slope that forces water away from your foundation. And another is be really careful about sprinkler heads that are that close. Um, a third is clean out those window wells so that they don't become a haven for all kinds of little critters that you don't want.